Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at our new feature of being able to use our MT Predictor add-ons um, in Bloodhound for system development and uh, automatic trading if you uh, wanted to. Uh, this feature is available for users who are on our priority support plan with our pro version of our MT Predictor add-ons. But as usual we have to start with our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing, or put another way, all professional traders know and understand, but more importantly accept that losses can and will unfold. No matter what trading approach you take or however you trade, there always will be losing trades. Let me just pull a chart in here of say the uh, ES and of um, loaded up uh, Bloodhound. So what is Bloodhound? Well I'm just going to open Bloodhound now and what it does is basically allows you to build a system and this is absolutely great so even if you didn't want to actually do automatic trading uh, you still wanted to place your trades manually which is a uh, um, is, is a good idea, uh, then you can basically uh, use it for back testing. And I think this is is what everyone needs to know is how their their trading signals perform. So building a system is really easy indeed. Uh, with Bloodhound, it's just a matter of doing uh, adding solvers. So if I click on solver here, and I come down to threshold, and then indicator, what this allows us to do is then select our MT predictor uh, setups. So here I'm going to do our MT predictor setups. If I double click on them, here they are here. So you can choose which setups you wish to um, use. You may want to only use a couple of these or all of them. But again, that's where the system development is great because you can look at which ones work for you and how you uh, place them together. So whichever ones you want to look at, I don't know. It doesn't matter which ones you uh, select or use but again this is for you to do in your development and if I do OK this gives you a box here and to change the title on it which is good and what you do is literally just connect it to the results and here I'm going to do F5 to recalculate them and as you can see what it does is gives you these racing stripes here that shows you where it would have actually found your particular setups and as you can see obviously there were some losing trades here there would have been trades that would have uh, worked out but it shows you which ones you have but now this is the beauty of um, Bloodhound because what you do now is you can actually build system so I'll just take that one off and let's say we want to add things together so again you can have loads of different options here there's far more than I can go into um, in this particular video is it is quite impressive really uh, and the beauty of it as well is if I just do another threshold one if I open up the indicators here you can see you have a list of all the standard Ninja Trader indicators as well. So that's the beauty of this is you could say I want to add in our empty predictor uh, setups and perhaps filter them with an RSI or perhaps a moving average or you know whichever you want and this is uh, where you can do your own research to put it together. But just for now let's just show you very quickly how I can do this with perhaps our MTP trend color. Again we're selecting it for long and shorts do OK. And we look at the threshold rules. So what this says is if the uh, MTP trend is above zero, you have a long output. It, output. If it's below zero, you have a short output. Again, you can change this as you wish. But then if we now go to function, sorry, logic, and I place I do an AND in here. Do you see what you can start to do? You can say I want to look at our MTP setups and our MTP trend and then look at what the results are for that. Let's uh, refresh the chart again, do F5 and as you can see now suddenly it's filtered out a lot of the uh, the, lose, uh, the, uh, the trades. 
so there's less trades coming in. So can you see how you can start to build a trading system based on uh, not on our, uh, no, uh, not only our empty predictor trade setups, but also any um, of the indicators that are already in IntraTrader. Also, there's other third-party indicators that you include uh, as well. So you can start to build a uh, trading strategy that works well for you. So how do you know whether it works? Well, for that, you can go to Blackbird and then you can do some back testing. So if you hang on a second, I'll... Okay, once you have your system set up and built in Bloodhound, you can then move over to uh, Blackbird to then uh, test it and optimize it. This is where the fun really starts. So what you can do now is you can build an order set based on your uh, input from uh, Bloodhound. Let's bring that into the video. So these are your setups in Bloodhound, which you've uh, done already. You can then um, set up an order set. So here we have the entry, uh, initial target, and our empty predictor uh, targets, and then our stop loss. You can now then do a back test, and this is what uh, the real power. This is where the real power of the the Bloodhound and Blackbird combination come in. So you can do a, bla a back test in this and um, refer to the help videos on how to actually do that uh, with Bloodhound. But once you've got the results on your chart, you can see, to start with, you can go to right mouse click, strategy performance, Blackbird, then historical. I'm not going to show you the um, actual results of this particular one I'm working on here at the moment, because it um, each individual person will have a different system. In other words, this is what you'll be doing uh, yourself. You'll be combining the uh, different setups with different indicators uh, in uh, Bloodhound to be able to develop your own uh, unique system. And then here you'll be able to define how you actually want to trade it. So this is what you do. You, do. you can then have a look at what your historical performance is. From that, you can then come back to the chart and you can see all the trades you, you would have done here. So this is where you can start to optimize your system and personalize it and make it yourself. Here's a good example. Here's a cell setup we had. See, there's our Bloodhound cell trigger. Here's a TS3 uh, or TS4 Way 3 cell setup. So if I place the MT predictor analysis on, you can see the market came down. And that's where the profit uh, was taken. Do you see that? It was taken there at our uh, first uh, target. So this is where you can start to perhaps change the uh, trade management rules. So for example, here you can see the market went a little bit lower. So say rather than coming out at the target, perhaps you want to start uh, trailing with the ATR stop, which is our red and blue dots. Perhaps you set when it gets to various levels of profit, you then say, right, I'm then going to move over to that uh, trailing uh, uh, guideline there. In that way, you can perhaps then try to um, increase your profit on some of the profitable trades. You can also define how you want to do your um, stop loss. In other words, once it gets to a certain level, when do you want to bring your stop loss to uh, break even or how do you want to manage it? You can then also look at some of the losing trades. So for example, down the bottom here, we can see here was a setup that came in here. If I place the analysis on, you can see this one here was just, just clipped out. So it was taken out for a minus one hour loss. Pity really, because it did go up to the target. But this again, you can look at the chart and you can analyze um, your profitable setups, your losing setups to see what you can do differently. If you want to try and change your trade management, again, that's really easy in uh, Blackbird. This is where this is so powerful. So if I click on these three dots, I come around here and I do trailing actions, custom. You can then add in trailing rules. You can add in as many rules as you wish. You can really make a quite sophisticated uh, trade management system. Say, for example, when the market gets to a certain profit level, you can then break your, your stop to break even. When it gets to another profit level, you can then say, well, I want to trail to the ATR stop. When it gets to another level, you can perhaps trail at the bar lows. When it gets to another level, you can perhaps take profit. You know, this is where you can actually build your um, your system. And this is where the true power of uh, Blackbird really comes in. 
as you uh, optimize and build your system, again, you can go back, you can rerun the analysis, you can then see the performance, see how the performance changed, whether it's got any better, whether it's got any worse, your number of profitable trades, your number of losing trades, number of break-even trades. You can come back to the chart, you can see exactly how your profitable trades were uh, worked out. And then perhaps if you want to try and adjust or amend your trading strategy, and again, you're losing trades, you can look at those and say, right, if I do something different, perhaps in your original um, Bloodhound um, setup or your system, perhaps you want to try and incorporate different uh, indicators in there to, to help weed out some of the losing trades or different stop, ma stop loss management guidelines. There is so much you can do, even if you don't want to do auto trading, because once you've you've done all this lot and you've developed your system, you can then tell Blackbird to then automatically trade it for you. But if you don't want to do that, you could perhaps say, I'll just let Blackbird enter the trades for you. <clears throat> so once it's enter a trade, you can then start to trade or you can start to move the stop and uh, do the, uh, the management yourself if you want to do, say, a part uh, automated uh, trading system. Or perhaps you don't want to do that at all. Perhaps you just purely and simply want to use Bloodhound and Blackbird for research and developing your system and then optimizing your system. Quite frankly, I can't understand why every single trader doesn't do this because let's face it, you want to know how your system's done. You want to know on the trade setups you've uh, developed yourself, how do they do? You know, how many are profitable? How many are losing? What do the profits do? How long after a losing period does it get back to, to break even again? In other words, a time to recovery. What your average loss is, what your average profit is. You need to know all these statistics to be able to have confidence in in trading. So I can't understand why any single, you know, every single uh, trader doesn't really spend lots of time developing and then optimizing their own trading system, but more importantly, knowing and understanding how their system or how their trading approach will actually or typically is likely to unfold in the markets. In other words, you can have confidence about what it's likely to do. So if you have some losing trades, you then know that perhaps it's then going to start to back to come back profitable again. So this is really where the true power of this is coming in. Now we can get our MT predictor setups in Bloodhound and Blackbird in that first and foremost, as we saw earlier in the video, you can combine our MT predictor trade setups with virtually every other um, Ninja Trader indicator out there, plus loads of other custom ones to then combine them together to develop your trading strategy you wish to uh, use yourself and then come over to Blackbird to then research it, back test it and optimize how you actually trade it. In other words, where you actually move your stop loss, when you break it, move to break even, when you take profit and how you adjust your stop loss as the trade uh, progresses in your favor. And as we've seen in Blackbird, you can then uh, be set to, to do it automatically by developing some very well, some quite sophisticated uh, trade management uh, strategies. It's not just one simple one. It is absolutely fantastic what you can actually build uh, to be able to get yourself your own unique trading strategy. So I hope this video has been helpful to show the power of uh, Bloodhound and Blackbird and to show you why it's so important to be able to, to use that to develop a trading strategy so you can have confidence in the trade setups you're using yourself particularly now we've got our MT predictor setups in here so you can, as we've seen here, have these on the chart, your, our entry, our stop and our profit target all as easy uh, functions in that are available in uh, Blackbird.